What up, y'all, Cyber Friends? Midi Man coming back at you again from Walker's Music with yet another word for today. Like I said, folks, we're in the season, the holiday season, Christmas time. Yes, I did say Christmas, my friend. I don't say Xmas. You know, I, I say Christmas. And uh, we just, we just glad the season is here and upon us, and everything is going on as normal. And we thank God for, for it being as well as it, as it is. And I just wanna, I wanna come back at you. Some things have been really, kind of. Mm, I hate to say troubling me. But there have been some things that kind of been heavy on my mind lately. And we want to, I want to use a scripture for reference here. I, I had intended to read this entire song, but uh, I, I thought against it. And I think I can use just one verse of it and just about do what I need to be, need to be done. And it comes from the song, 53rd Division. It said, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that do it good. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers of his holy word. Now people, that scripture, there is none that do it good. We know that's a direct reference. Uh, Romans made come from that. In the book of Romans, Paul wrote that, none that does good, no, not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But this, the said the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And they are corrupt mind and have done abominable iniquity, which is lawlessness, people. We know that what iniquity is. We learned that from the last video about the days of Noah. Iniquity shall abound, lawlessness. And so, if we look around, if we look around, first of all, let me give a shout out to my partners in the gospel, uh, Brother JT in, in Dallas, Texas, and Brother Justice, in Frankfurt, Germany. Yes, yes, Frankfurt, Germany. I've been there once and I, when I was in the military. Matter of fact, I think twice, but at any rate, uh, it's a very lovely country, and we give you a shout out, Brother Justice, and just like saying Brother PP Drawings, and all, all, of, all of you that are laboring in this year, Gospel Kingdom building. You know, people are, people are, seems to me as though that, um, People are thinking that everything they have no there there are no consequences to their actions or the, the way they are living. People are seeming to think that everything is just going to happen, go on like always, and they are mocking people that are trying to do right. You know, you got people that are yet you know that are keeping up a lot of mess and havoc in the church, in the church of the living God. I know people that has a false church too. I know that. Remember, one in the bed, two, the one should be taken the other left. Two in the field, the one should be taken the other left. I know we got false we got false church churches, false people. But people we cannot. We we he, Jesus said, let the wheat and the tail grow together and in the harvest. I will do the separating. See, the one thing about it, see, people, I'm, if I go out and start gathering, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some of the good with the bad. But that one thing about Jesus, he knows us, every one of us. He knows our intentions. He knows, he, he, like our PB drawing says, it's the heart posture. It's the heart posture. So God, Jesus knows. In other words, te he tells us right there in the book of Revelation, he was speaking to the seven churches. And each time he mentioned, and before he finished with the church, Remember what that statement Jesus always made to the apostle. What did he tell John? I know your word. See, that's it. You can fool me some of the time, but you can't fool God none of the time. Jesus knows our word, and so we are going to be paid according to our word. So now let's back this thing up a little bit. How do we know? How do we know? something 
true, authentic from something that's false, not authentic. Well, first of all, on certain things, let's 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 take natural things. Everything, most of the time, when you want to test something for authenticity, you have a standard that you test it by. Um, gold, you could tell gold from, you have, if you heat it up, if there's any impurities in it, that impurity is afloat to the top. Pure gold, you will know it because of the test, the acid test you put it through. Same thing gold people for Christianity. Remember, Christianity is not religion. Please hear me, people. Christianity is not religion. Christianity is a relationship. And you know what? Guess what? I'm finna surprise some of you. Yours is not like mine. Mine is not like yours. It's a personal. It's just like your PC. It's, why, do we, why do you think they call it a PC, a personal computer? Because it's personal to your taste. You fix your computer up to your liking. And I can take that same com computer and it be totally different in the way I have mine set up than yours. But yet and still they could be the same exact PC. That's why they call it personal. Our relationship with Jesus is a personal relationship. You may not see things the way I see them. But your heart posture, your heart posture will be the same. How do we test this? Test the spirit by the spirit. See, people, it's not hard for you to, um, to figure out and see it's um, false. Because if I come here and tell you anything that's contrary to this, get rid of me. Quick. Don't walk away wrong from me. This is how we know. This is the essence. You test the spirit by the spirit. So now, if you go into most of your churches today, people, I, I guarantee you, I mean, I'll be honest with you. A lot of Jesus you're not going to see. You'll see a whole bunch of other stuff. you see a whole bunch of competition, a whole bunch of jealousy, a whole bunch of envy and strife. None of those traits and characteristics is what? The similitude of Jesus Christ. This is why you can't, you got ministers, call themselves ministers of the gospel. Can't stand one another. Get jealous of other ministers because of their ministry. If you were really a follower of Jesus Christ, you would not be worried about what, how big another ministry is. You would rejoice because Jesus said, they that is not against us is with us. It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I play a keyboard, but it doesn't matter if JT comes to my church and plays the keyboard. Matter of fact, I welcome JT to come to the church to play the keyboard so I can sit back and enjoy. I will enjoy other musicians that come in and that can play. Now, I, I mind you, now if you can't play, I don't want you to come. But if you can play, come on. But it's not because of the fact we, we, we get this jealousy in us. Not so. Not if you're Christ like. Even if it start to rise up in you. You remember, the Spirit going to give you that unction. No, no, Ernest. Me the man? Nope. You know better than that. Come on now, get out the flesh. See, the flesh will rise up, people. Don't get too big for your britches now. Don't get too big for your britches. Think the flesh will rise up, and if you're not careful, if you're not careful, the, the, the devil will try to have you doing some stuff that you know you shouldn't be doing. Come on now, people. Let's get for real. Let's, let's be for real. Call the devil. The devil try to get at all of us at times. He got at Jesus, and I know he get at you too. But the thing of it is, we must test the spirit by the spirit. And all this jealousy and envy and strife that's going on in this world, it's no, it's no surprise, people. It's no surprise. But the one thing that I'm, I will say this much, and I've said this because of something P.P. Drawing wrote in a comment. People, we, I, I'm like, we've been in tribulation ever since Jesus left. That's, I believe this. Because you look at everything that, that, that immediately started happening right around 70 AD. So I believe we've been in tribulation ever since then. Matter of fact, I know we have. 
Jesus said, in this world we shall suffer trials and tribulations. We won't be persecuted. People, we've been being persecuted ever since Jesus left. And 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 that 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 video that PP Drawing sent me to, to go and watch about the persecution that is going on right now in China, and I mean there's other places. But I challenge you, if 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 you're not on my contact list, then I didn't get a chance to send you the link. But go to YouTube and do a search on uh, Christian persecution. That one should be top. I'm just saying this, people. If we love Christ as we say we do, then we wouldn't have no problem in any church. A blood bought church. You wouldn't worry about who's playing the organ. If you're a musician, you wouldn't worry about who's on the keyboard or the organ or the guitar or the bass. If you are a pastor or a word, if you preach the word, you wouldn't worry about whether or not another minister was coming in for the week. You wouldn't have no beef or quarrel with that because you were welcoming. Because there should be no jealousy and animosity among the believers. You know, they, they tried to get this same thing up. If you go back to the scripture, they tried to get this same sort of competition thing up with Paul and Peter. Yeah, this that. They got to talk about, were well, you baptized under Paul or were Apollos and all of this here? And you know, they, it, which is, it don't serve no purpose at all. It don't do nothing but cause division. This is the very reason part why we have so many denominations. Christ hate denominations because it caused division. He said, Jesus said, I wish that they would, we would be one, just like him and his father are one. This is what, this was the will of Jesus was. But we have done everything to separate ourselves. To separate ourselves. And denominationalism and all this stuff have done it. Ah, well, now I'm so big. I'm the bishop. I can't be touched by you. People, forget this here mess. Jesus is coming soon, and we need to be ready. That's the only thing I said. Let us go back to Bible principles, Bible basics. Let's just love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body, and treat our neighbor as thyself. Why can't we just do that, people? But we just going around with this tribe. We stabbing each other in the back. We talking about each other. And ain't nobody done nothing to you. Leave people alone. And get right yourself. And then you can help others get right. This is the Middle Man saying peace and goodbye.